since my playing days, the league itself has, has gotten more and more diverse. There's more black players in the league and minorities in the league. There's more women and minorities in front office and scouting and coaching positions. So my job is to do the best I can for the San Jose Sharks organization. And if I do that, hopefully it opens the door to, to give other opportunities to other minorities to, to get in front office positions and, and maybe lead a team down the road as well. All right, that was the new Sharks GM, Mike Greer, the first black GM in history of the NHL. Yeah. I mean, if you take a look at his resume, I mean, it just goes on and on of how qualified he is. We talked about how important it is to have representation mm -hmm. across all leagues. So how big of a deal is it that the NHL has taken this step here? I think it's a big deal. I mean, absolutely huge. And, and NHL was always going to have some unique issues just because of what their player base looks like and having diversity and inclusion. But to hire the right guy for the job and to consider all the qualified candidates, I think, is the biggest thing here. And you mentioned his resume. He's a guy, obviously played a long time in the NHL, was a coach, then made his way up through scouting. He worked in operations. Now he's over here as a GM. It's in his family blood. His dad was a, a pro scout uh, in the NFL. Uh, his brother is a GM of an NFL team as well. So this is something that you know as a family business is certainly familiar. Uh, but I think the biggest thing that stands out, you interview everybody who's qualified to do the job and then you pick the best candidate for it. I'm not exactly sure this is something that we see in other sports. Absolutely. Uh, really smart family, by the way. Yeah. Like, you got, <laughs> you're, you're, impressive. If you're his parents, you got two sons that are GMs, you're like, you know what? We, we did, did a good right. job. We did a good job. <laughs> but I think you're absolutely right. And I think the thing for me, we, we now have the first black GM in the National Hockey League. It doesn't stop here. Like, mm -hmm. what he talked about, you have to continue to push things forward, and you want to have as much representation in the NHL. Like, NHL has been around for a long time. Yes. It, it's 2022, and we just now got the first black GM. You want to continue to see this going. We talk about hiring all the time in other sports. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, you want to give yourself as many bites at the apple as possible mm -hmm. to find the best person for the job. And, you know, uh, congrats to the Sharks for finding their guy.